Okay, let's talk about windows and ports and stuff. I know it's a lot of ports guys are coming up with. Um, COM 10, COM 11, COM 12, when there's probably only one thing plugged in. You're probably wondering why that is. If you go to uh, Device Manager, go to Device Manager, you'll notice that there's no ports. Now, this is Windows 10, but Windows 7 kind of behaves the same way. There's nothing plugged in, so what are the ports and what are they configured to? So the thing you have to do is go to my computer or this PC. Go properties. And that brings up that, your, your system. Go to advanced system settings. And then environment variables. And you want to create a new uh, system variable called device manager underscore show underscore non present underscore devices and make a value of one and you go okay and then you go okay and then you go okay and then when you go back to device manager then under view you go show hidden devices. On Windows 7, that doesn't come up until you make that device variable. Now, ports comes up, and here we see COM9, COM4, COM8, that sort of thing. And if we just click and delete them, uninstall, sure. Because it'll reinstall, it still has the drivers. You've, you've put them in before. Uninstall, yeah. USB serial device, who knows what it is. But if it has COM9 associated with this USB serial device, every time you plug one in, it won't choose 9, even though that's not the device you're plugging in. It dedicates that COM port to that device. So then if you delete these, next time you plug it in, it'll pick COM4 and just load the drivers for that. And then you can always use that. So that's one way to minimize your, your driver allocation or your, your COM port allocation for serial. Okay, so then I'll delete this guy too. Don't delete the driver. So now we just we plug in that the uh, USB. Plug it in, and there it is. Now it's back to COM3. You don't have all those other ones. View, show hidden devices. Only time you get actually shows ports is when you have something plugged in. If you show hidden devices, it shows all the ports. It shows all the ports. See, now that one's dedicated to COM3. So that's a good way to clean up your computer. Uh, that's, it's not very well known, so I thought I would share that one. The other one is in Task Manager. Suppose you have Ag Open GPS running. Ag Open GPS is running. Now, what is the priority that Windows puts on this program? The other thing you do is run task manager, uh, run as administrator. I don't know if you have to or not. And over here, this is the information about all the applications that are running in the background. If you see a something weird, this is the place to look. So here we see Ag Open GPS. And if we go into details and we right click Ag Open GPS, we can set the priority from normal to above normal to high to real time. I wouldn't choose real time because then that messes with your I.O. stuff. But you can select high and then change that priority. Now I go open GPS in terms of Windows, it becomes a very high priority application. So things like threads and kicking it in the background doesn't happen anywhere near as often. So that's another, another trick.